Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. This is Manish and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the board administration and I'm also going to talk about a bit more about schemes in Jira. So as in previous tutorial we have covered a lot of details around schemes, how you, how you can create the permission scheme, associate them with the project etc. Uh, but in this tutorial there are a few more schemes that I want to cover um, and uh, make sure that all the schemes are being covered as part of this course so this will be a brief introduction of the remaining schemes uh, uh, remaining schemes and uh, what is board administration what exactly is board in Jira so if you see on my screen the the project that I'm in at the moment is the uh, RCV Academy online portal and this is the RCV Academy online portal board so the board is nothing but uh, uh, sort of a column based uh, structure wherein um, you can associate your tasks and there is an underlying workflow below the uh, behind the board uh, and you can move these tasks around on the board so it's like sort of physical board with uh, columns uh, which track the progress of the work activities in your project so now if you see this this is a software or a, this is a scrum project so if you create a scrum project in Jira or if you create a Kanban project in Jira by default a board gets created automatically however if you um, create the basic software development project the board doesn't get created automatically however you can go ahead and create a board manually so there are some uh, project types wherein it won't get created automatically but you can still go and create it manually and then you can get similar sort of board for other project types as well now talking about the project uh, admin and board admin so if you go to the right hand side in the board um, and click on configure so in general configure uh, in general configuration you will see the administrators that are uh, available for this particular board so, right so if you see uh, the project admin so project admin is JGN for this project and he's also the administrator for um, administrator for this board as well so what this means is that if you are the board administrator um, or if you have created the board you will be able to edit the board and only the Jira administrator will be able to edit or uh, update the board um, if you do not have or if you're if you are someone in the project who doesn't have the board administrator permission and you haven't created that particular board you won't be able to access it so only the person who has created the board or the purse or the Jira administrator will be able to access the board if you want access to any of the board you need to be added as the administrators of the board so even though JGN is project administrator for this board if he is not part of the board administrators he won't be able to come back and edit the board so I have left Alex as the board administrator for the ROP board and then let's log out and log in as JGN and see whether um, he is able to access the board or not or oh, sorry he is able to edit the board or not so we'll log in again as JGN who is the project administrator and not the board administrator because I have removed the JGN from uh, the board administration privileges so let's see what happens now once I'm logged in as JQN and I go to the board which is the ROP board and if you see in the right hand side if I go to the configure section of this board now in the configure section now in this section you can see in the general there is a information that contact a Jira or board administrator to configure this board so what this means is that if you are the project admin but you're not the board admin you won't you still won't be able to edit the board 
uh, and only Jira administrator or the board administrator can do it. So usually what happens is by default when a project gets created, if you are allocated as a project admin, you also get access to the board uh, by default. However, if there are other people in the same project who create the boards, only they can access it and uh, only they can um, administer it and the project administrator or uh, Jira administrator can administer those particular boards. So as a project admin or as any other member in the team, if you want to administer any board, you need to be added as a board administrator. So that's a brief about the board administration. Let's go back and log in as Jira administrator again. I'll log off and log in as Jira admin again. Sorry. And once I am logged in, I'll go to the administrator section or I'll go to the boards again. Go to the configure board. And then if I add JGN again, then you should be able to edit the board now. So if I log off and log in again as JGN, then he should be able to access the board now, or sorry, he should be able to administer the board now. So I log in again. Select the board, ROP. Go to the board properties, configure. So now you can see I'm logged in as JQN and I can edit the board and I can add new administrators. I can remove the administrator. So I have all the administrative privileges for this particular board. So let's go back to the board and log off as JQN and log in as administrator again and then we'll walk through some of the uh, schemes about the project so let's pick any project so at the moment here yeah, rcv academy online portal i'll pick that one and go to the project settings now in the project settings or in the summary page we have seen that uh, some of the schemes that we have already discussed were around um, you know the fee the permission scheme is the mostly that we have discussed now there are many other schemes as well so for example the issue type screens which uh, sorry issue type scheme which uh, contain the information about all the issue types in this particular project then you have the workflow schemes so if you notice this issue type workflow and screen scheme you will see that these are the unique scheme because they start with ROP uh, which is this project and these schemes are the schemes which are shared only with this project or being used only with this particular project so if you try to open any one of this screen you will notice that this is not the shared uh, scheme with any other uh, project so you can see this project uh, uh, is using the software simplified workflow scheme now if we go back to the summary again there are some other schemes which are the default scheme so for example this field so a screen scheme is again the unique uh, to this particular project and the field screen uh, scheme system default field configuration and then default priority scheme as well as the default notification scheme so these three schemes if you open these are the schemes which are the default or system default schemes and you can see that the this default field configuration scheme is used by all the eight projects in this particular instance so unless and until you go ahead and uh, create a separate scheme uh, for the field configuration uh, by default uh, your field configuration the priorities and the notification scheme is the default scheme that is within jira is being utilized so the 
the reason for that is because the more scheme configuration you will have it's basically not good for the performance of the jira instance so it's always advisable to give a um, you know like deeper thought do a lot of business analysis with the people in your organization and get the right set of requirement what they are looking for before you go ahead and configure so many different schemes for each of the sections so for example field uh, scheme having field scheme for all different project or a unique field scheme for different project is not advisable similarly the notification scheme you, you you can segregate it with the type of project so for example the development all the software development uh, projects can have one set of notification scheme or one set of field scheme and priority scheme so that's um, sort of um, getting into more of a solutioning sort of mode when you um, when you can gather all the requirement and then come up with the with the uh, better way to implement all these schemes so these are some of the um, shared uh, sort of schemes here and then some of the unique schemes which we'll cover again in more detail in the further tutorials but just to give you a brief introduction about the board administration and the uh, schemes uh, project scheme GRI schemes uh, I wanted to cover a bit more about the uh, schemes that we didn't touch in the previous tutorial. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, please uh, do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.